All right, we're walking through the woods now, headed back to our hotel. Bonzo would run as fast as he could if we got attacked. Everybody save yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, what was that? Good morning. Or, I feel like I should say, good middle of the night. Because it's 3.30 in the morning. Of the witching hour. I have a flight at 5.30 a.m. We're going to... Albany. The shows aren't until Friday, but myself and our opener, Mal, are having to leave today, Thursday, because um, it takes like a whole day if you're going from West Coast to East Coast because of the time change as well. Here's the kicker. I also went to a concert last night, and I know you're thinking to yourself, didn't you know you had this show date when you bought those tickets? Yes, I did. Yes, I did, okay? I don't actually know how long my flights are. I, to be honest, I'm not even sure where my layover is. I think Detroit. Sup, you guys? <laughs> it looks so tired. It's 7 p.m. Um, I'm waiting for Mal. He gets in at 7.30. We're going to go get some dinner. There's a mall across the street we can walk to. Guy at the front desk suggested this other bar but we'd have to get an uber and i'm like well how long is that gonna take and also it's a bar and it closes at 9 p.m albany what are you doing to me the air outside it smells like christmas we are in the northeast you guys get the ball get the ball from And this is our food. It's awesome. Yum, 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 yum. We already had some bomb cauliflower. What was it called? I forgot. It's amazing. It's so good. It was like crunchy, flavorful, a little bit of spicy, a little bit of sweet. Lincoln bio. <laughs> Lincoln bio to <laughs> the recipe. Recipe. I was going to say this restaurant, but I don't know the name of it. We walked here. It's called like Great Indian Cuisine. And it is great Indian cuisine. Great Indian kitchen. Delicious. And they had a fish tank at the intro. I did a video. Bye. There's so many people around. I want to show you my video. Like, hey, everybody. I'm on my way to Albany. Also, I just noticed I have mascara. In the hotel, me and Bonds. We had a good flight. Um, 
I guess I was tired. I fell asleep on my flights. Didn't expect that, but I was like out, like knocked out to where like you shake awake. You know what I mean? Like you're just out and all of a sudden you're like for no reason at all. How embarrassing. One show tonight. I'm about to get up, put some makeup on, walk over early. Typically, Danielle goes over early by herself, sets up for merch, does sound check for me, and then I come like half hour before the doors, no, excuse me, before the show starts. Sometimes 15 minutes before the show starts. But this time, I think I'm going to go early because I'm hungry. And as you can see, there's no food places out there. It's just trees. So I'm going to go to the venue early and order food and eat in my green room. Okay. Yeah. Because I zoomed in and I was like, oh, well, there's a trail. We won't need a car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Where are we headed? I don't know. <laughs> um, apparently, this is the way to the mall. <laughs> uh, just follow this dirt path where no crimes have been committed. <laughs> I see it in the distance. It feels real different at night. It's, yeah, night. we Not walked cooking. it. <laughs> we walked it last night and it was spooky. You smell good now. Thank you. What is, what is Wait, it? Does that smell like it's too much or is it no. right amount? No, it's good. What is it? Okay. So a flat head right in there, you can see it's just like that. To open it up, you just turn it to the left uh -huh. and it'll flush. Okay. Left and around and out, and then you can um, just literally turn it back off. Glamorous VIP life, you guys. <laughs> this is the life of a headliner. Let me tell you, Winnie! <laughs> <laughs>
Can you hear? In the light? Is the lighting okay? Oh, oh my yeah. god. <laughs> and then, okay. this is good. Mm -hmm. And then I'll do this. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. Here we okay. go. Uh -huh. Got this. Got this. <laughs> <laughs> And I'll start the cat on for you. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Action and then it'll start. Okay, we're starting. Do you know that? No, you already messed it up. <laughs> How did I mess it up? <laughs> I did it! I did it! Okay. How did I mess it up? Hey, so he says, Do you know them? And I go, No, but in the club, we all fam. And then he goes, What? what? And I go, in the club, we all fam. And he goes, huh? And then I go, in the club, we are all family. His first take was good, so we're gonna. Yeah, yeah. So we're starting on my take now. We got oh this. my god! And I have the volume off. Okay, here we go. Ready? No, but in the club, we all fam. And then we go back to you. What? We go back to you. I'm nervous. Okay. In the club, we all fam. I don't. I wait, don't. Wait. Wait. I don't, I don't. This is the one. You're <laughs> <laughs> supposed to come to my show. <laughs> and I made it in a good way. <laughs> You're stuck in Tampa, huh? It smells like cool and refreshing. He has to go potty. Oh. <laughs> I was like, we have to get to the woods. <laughs> Danielle's all mad. What is he doing? He's trying to take a <laughs> All right. We're walking through the woods now. Headed back to our hotel. If you listen closely, you hear the crickets. Bonzo would run as fast as he could if we got attacked. Everybody save yourself! <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. This kind of feels like we're camping a little bit. It does kind of smell campy. It smells campy. The sound walking on the gravel feels very like we're walking back to our campground. You guys? You guys are entirely too comfortable <laughs> right now. I am you, camping. I am comfortable. Yeah. You didn't go camping growing up, Mel? No. We were poor. Yeah, so That's we why you go camping. camping. <laughs> Him and my mom first got divorced. Mm -hmm. um, and it was his weekend. He just rented a room from either his sister's house or his friend's house. Like he would just bounce around and rent a room. Mm -hmm. So when it was his weekend to have us four kids, we would go stay at the Motel 6. Uh -huh. Or we would go camping because he had a tent. Uh-oh, what was that? Danielle just abruptly stopped in front of me. Yeah, because he had a tent and all he had to do was get food for sandwiches mm -hmm. to make sandwiches all weekend. Mm -hmm. And bacon and eggs for breakfast. Good times. And so we would go camping. Just to drive. And look at that. And with that being said, we're out of the woods. Has that guy been following us the whole time? Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Good morning. I'm meeting my residents in free breakfast.
some bird. Not typically. I don't wake up early enough to get breakfast, but now that I'm a mom, my body naturally wakes up when it's time to get Rosie up. And even though Rosie's not here, I still get up. Every now and then I'll sleep past when Rosie sleeps. Is that a pimple? <gasps> Ew, how embarrassing. I haven't looked at myself today, apparently. But anyway. Oh, also, right now. I just tried to do that mom thing where you see a baby and you talk to the parent and you guess their age. The grandma was holding the baby and I was like, oh, he's so cute. What is he? Like nine months? And she goes six. And I go, oh, I'm not good at this game yet. But in all fairness, this baby was active. Screaming, like a cute scream, not a, you know, we gotta get the baby back to bed scream, but like having fun scream. And I was like, oh, this baby's like eight, nine months old. But then after she told me six months, I did notice that his neck was a little like unstable. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, he's pretty young. Yum, pizza time. <laughs> Pizza review, Mel. What? Where are we? Yeah, thank you. really good. Spinach, red pepper, some ricotta cheese. I don't know what style I would call this. It's like a thick New York mm -hmm. slice. Yeah. But it's tasty. Oh. Side bites? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. I don't know what to do with this information. My eyes were just given. <laughs> Look at all these slices for me for and Danielle. Me. What are we doing? Delish. We got some pepperoni, sausage jalapeno. Oh wait, that was for Mel. Yeah. And that's for Mel. Yeah. Do you want to be? I want pepperoni. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> An artist prepares. What's up? <laughs> it's only expensive because she bought it. <laughs> To the cheesecake place, and um, it's so pretty. I asked if it's a safe walk, and Mal said, "Should we walk or should we get a car?" She said, "If you want to get a if car." You want to get a, yeah, it was like, <laughs> if you're gonna be a, like a pansy about it, get a car. <laughs> or so be we, a man and walk, dude. We're gonna walk. We're, gonna walk. we're just. Hiding our expensive belongings. <laughs> <laughs> I turned my bag inside out so they don't see the. Oh. It feels like a setup, Rose. <laughs> <laughs> this is where her son's really been this whole time. <laughs> That's the thing, is when you go to new cities, you just don't know what neighborhood you're in, and like, you're like, where's the best food? Where should we go? And then you go, and like, where were we just at? Connecticut. Connecticut, Hartford. And we went to that Mexican Mexi restaurant that. A homegirl told us about Joanna, and she was like, "It's the best." Sometimes there's a line out the door, and we're like, "Let's go!" And then we go, and it's full in the hood. Full, full, full. <laughs> and it's like, I know. And I was like, "Joanna comes here." <laughs> I love it. It's an experience, but at the same time, you just be smart and you don't go walking through the neighborhood. Like you drive to the restaurant, you eat the amazing food. It was amazing food. Except for when it broke my tooth. But other than that, it was really good food. Is that where your tooth broke? Yeah. Wait. <laughs> oh, he's moving. <laughs> what? Ice cream? Oh, is that what it, I was like, do I have Rosie's toy in my bag? <laughs> what is that? I was like, no, it's an ice cream thing. It is really pretty. 
beautiful day. Fall foliage in the trees. I'm not seeing uh, architecture that reminds you you're not at home. Yeah. You um, know what I mean? Like the, sure. the shapes of the apartments, the houses, the walk ups. Even like, this church. You know, you're like, they don't have this in California. No. We're not in Kansas anymore, Toto. No, we're not. Go. Three. Two. Okay. <laughs> you have a giant bag. <laughs> okay. That was fun. You guys are. This is what, this is why being on the road is fun. <laughs> yeah. Swing in a random park. We have this cutie little neighborhood. Capital there, there's in between, is that really tall building and there's reflecting pools. Okay. And um, the egg, which it looks like a, almost like a football on a stand. Yeah, yeah. And like there's two theaters, one's on Yum. one side. I think the cafe, they might be giants, just played there like years ago. The restaurant they were opening, and then like a couple weeks, another restaurant, and then another restaurant, and it got to the point where we had to quit our jobs. Wow. Um, or quit making cheesecakes. What were your jobs before this? I worked, I was a, I've been a chef forever, but at that point I was working at a tattoo shop. Okay. Because you don't, there's no money working in a kitchen. Uh -huh. Unless it's your own kitchen, so my mother. Yeah. Like, yeah. why put in yeah. so much effort? And she was bartending. It just got to the point, you know, to work at 10 o'clock at night, and yeah. then making cheesecakes till 3, 4 in the morning. Wow. It's like a bad mm -hmm. And I was waitressing at a place the first restaurant that started carrying them, and I was like, people are freaking out. Like, so I got to see wow. people like eat them yeah. and be like, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, it was a month ago, big. we got rated the fourth best cheesecake spot in the nation. No way. And that was, uh, and the two that are above us are juniors and Eileen's in the city. Yeah. That we already beat out for the best cheesecake in Europe. But this is more about the actual yeah. environment. Yeah. 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 And then the third one was Cheesecake Factory. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Not Cheesecake Factory. Yeah. <laughs> cheesecake Factory got third. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's a wild. They get that just because their menu is so huge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when you create new flavors, has there ever been one that you guys are like, oh my gosh, this is the best. Like it's staying on the menu forever. So. Yeah, there's been a few of those. Right now, like salty caramel brownie is one of those. Mm. That's kind of standard. But the we do make a lot. is probably the most outstanding, but that definitely we can't make every day. Yeah, because it, it takes so long to lay around. Cut the slice, separate all the slices, we lay each slice, put that wow. mm. But then we do a lot for like our friends or like just whatever. Like, we have a friend, Kevin, who's um, also a drag queen, and his name is Whiskey Sour. And he makes these elaborate Easter bonnets that are like pink and, 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 and purple and yellow. And, yeah. And so we made one that's like half coupe, half raspberry, like a two layer oh, yeah. pink. Oh, and so we call them like Whiskey uh, bon whiskey Sour's Easter uh, Bonnet. That one's really cool. Yeah. I like doing ones for our friends. Yeah. Yeah. We have a one friend who's a guitar player, like Scotty Mack, and I did it. Biscotti Mac, so it's like Biscotti yeah. and Macadamia. Get ready and recording. Here we are with Mel Hall and Angela Johnson picking our Rocky Horror winner. Hi! <laughs> oh, hello! Alright, here we go. Lucky winner is... Monica! Oh! Pumped yeah, about Monica! Monica. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's just the first sip. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's always the first sip. We that broke that we broke first up. sip was like, first sip reminded me of the holidays. I was like, mm. it's like a little cool outside. There's something baking in the oven. There's joy in the air. But then it got a little romantic. And it was like, mm. oh. Okay, cheesecake machismo. Okay, wait. Mal, tell us all the flavors. Uh, strawberry, lemon, strawberry, lemon, blueberry. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the brown, 
<laughs> Salted caramel brulee. This is a regular creme brulee right here. Mm. Ube. Um, black Irish stout. So this actually has Ooh. Guinness in it. Ooh. Double <clears throat> Dutch dark chocolate and then Oreo. Speedwagon. Speedwagon. Which I believe that has coffee, coffee. in it. I just had the strawberry, it's fantastic. I'm going for the creme brulee. Blueberry lemon. They mm. look so good. Like they mm, like they're so perfectly made. Oh yeah. The lemon at the end. Mm-hmm. It's not too strong. No. I love it. Mmm. This is very good. Yeah, that's a vanilla bean. It's vanilla mm. bean cheesecake. With the crunchy creme brulee top. Super purple. Safety first, folks. Mm. I'm just trying to match your disgusting vibes. Mm. That ube is so giving um, Oreo a little bit. Yeah? Yeah. That's good. Just the texture on the cheesecake is like, it's, it's so good. Perfect. Oreo Speedwagon, very good. Oh, because that has the brownie crust. <laughs> the caramel gives it almost a savory. The way it's a little burnt. It's a little salty yeah. savory. Caramel's not my favorite, I'll be honest. Mm. The savory threw me up, threw me off. This is the Oreo, Oreo wagon. coffee. Mm -hmm. Hot take on cheesecakes. Um, I don't like the crust. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I think I like mm. mask cheesecake so much because it doesn't have that. I like that. I love mm -hmm. that one. That one's so good. You're welcome. I chose that flavor. This is the Guinness. The Guinness yeah. one. Mm. Do you like the Guinness one? Mm-hmm. I do. So far, Ube is my favorite. Really? Yeah. I love the creme brulee one. Let me do this creme brulee. Like brulee. No, sorry, I like <laughs> Oh, I thought you meant boule like boo because it's October. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, mm. coconut on there. I'm going ube, creme brulee, then the Guinness, then this chocolate one, then the blueberry lemon. Mm, I'm going Oreo Speedwagon, creme brulee, blueberry lemon. Oh, okay. Then Guinness. I'm counting these as the same. Okay. And they're, they're just there. berry tops. So okay. they're like, this is as close to plain as mm -hmm. the cab over there. Mm -hmm. So I go this. I really like the caramel. And I like the Guinness one. Mm -hmm. like the the berries are your number ones? Yeah, because I like plain. Yeah. So they, well done. They cut it and they brulee each slice and then put it together. It's wild. Which is crazy. How come they don't? Because you can't cut it. Oh, oh yeah. No. no. <laughs> Duh. Yeah, the two that I chose, those are my favorites. <laughs> I know what I like. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> That's new. You're joining the Grey Club. A lot of salt in the beard, but I just saw a few uh, salt speckles starting. Ruh -ruh. Now the decision is, you know, paint it or leave it. Uh huh. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna leave it. Yeah. Paint it. You know, dye. dye. Just for men. Just for men. <laughs> that's the brand. Still, that's like such an old reference. Oh. I don't you guys, know. I'll be honest. I think I might miss this walk. It's like a fun little camping that? walk to work. <laughs> <laughs> camping walk to work. Yeah. I like it. I just like that it's cold. I'm into it. Oh, it like I like that it's cold but not freezing to where you're mad. Oh. <laughs> I thought there was a cooter. <laughs> Not a critter. <laughs> I love a good critter. No, just wow, getting caught on a branch. Earlier in our Uber, we were talking about remembering our first kiss. Oh. <laughs> and all of us took a turn. <laughs> <laughs> and I kept watching our Uber driver's eyes in oh the rear view mirror. <laughs> He was definitely into our stories. He was judging us, probably. Yeah. 
Embarrassing. I didn't even think about him. Whoops. <laughs> no, I forgot there was another person in the car. Oh my gosh. Maybe we'll share them with you one day. Maybe not. Never. <laughs> Never? <laughs> no. Next week on Fungula, you guys. <laughs> Are you making yourself comfy? Yeah. Oh. He looks like a teddy bear right now. Already running low. Almost no more cream hoodies. Look at that. What three hats left? Oh, my Kindle. <laughs> I need more people to buy these. They're so cute and so soft. Come buy this. My shoe. What happened? What did you do? It wasn't me. It was Mal. Mal spilled my Dr Pepper. Mal's drunk. Look at. Angela wasn't supposed to know, but Danielle's been drinking since 2 p.m. today, and then she kicked over her soda. Soda. <laughs> this is pure Dr. Pepper. Who uh, ain't vodka? No! <laughs> Dr. Pepper vodka? No! You cannot spread these lies. Where did it go? Dr. Stolen. In your shoe? All in my shoe. I do apologize. It's okay. <laughs> I don't have any towels. <laughs> Alright, we got to the airport a little bit early because Mal warned us. He was like, you guys get there early. It's chaotic over there. And we're like, let's do that. Danielle, get the Uber earlier. Come on, we don't want to, you know, be stuck in that mess. Have you guys seen the mess? <laughs> We are all family. 